if your hair is part of your body and you give yourself a haircut, is your hair cutting itself? Wow. It's crazy. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's James from Boxcar Visual. I hope you're all getting through the week okay. If you guys don't follow Pink on Instagram, you should, because last week she got drunk and she tried to cut her own hair. And that's why I'm doing this video. At some point, we're going to be able to safely go back out into the public and we're going to be able to go to our favorite restaurants and bars and concerts and uh, minor league baseball games, and it's going to be awesome. But also, a lot of us are going to go out into public for the first time looking like this, a little bit shaggy, shaggier than usual. So I'm going to teach you all how I cut my hair. Uh, I'm not a barber at all, but I have cut my own hair a lot. If you've never cut your own hair before, you're not going to look like Leo from Wolf of Wall Street the first time. Just fair warning on that. Direct, yeah. But you're also not going to look like Leo from The Revenant. So there's that. Okay, great. Here's the video. All right, so when I cut my hair, I kind of look at it like there's two parts. There's sides and then there's the top. I use mostly the scissors to cut the top and I use mostly the clippers to cut the sides. Important note, start long. You can always, you know, go over it, be like, oh, I want it shorter, make it shorter. But you can't start short, go over it, be like, oh, shit, I want it longer. You're kind of hosed. I put a little bit of water in my hair and I'm just gonna kind of comb it over to make it lay just about how it'll lay when it's hopefully completely cut. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a alfalfa thing going on right there. That's all right. Oh, we won't worry about that. <laughs> the first thing you want to do is you want to check your clipper length. Now, most actual hair clippers have guards that go on that are different lengths. So it's a one or a two or a three or a four. This is literally just a beard trimmer. Um, so it's got a sliding guard. And I'm going to start at here a seven, which I know is about a two if I were to use normal clippers. Start at the front and you go up and you keep going and you start making your way around the side of your head. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Uh, you wanna be looking down the profile of the area that you're cutting so you can see a nice silhouette of the hairs and make sure that you're making a good cut and it, and it looks clean. I love you. Uh, don't worry too much about how it looks going from the side of your head to the top here. You're going to clean that up later. So now that we have the sides of the sides done, uh, all the way back to the blind spot, it's time to hit the blind spot. This is probably one of the trickiest things that you're going to need to do. This is what you need the little handheld mirror for, and basically you're bouncing the reflection off the reflection so you can see what you're doing. Uh, don't be afraid to get too close to the mirror. Not too close, but close to the mirror. That'll help you out a bunch as you work your way around. Okay. So now that the sides are done, more or less, uh, we can start on the top. And remember, you're gonna use your scissors. So hair grows at different speeds. And if you pull some hairs up, you can see that they're all slightly different lengths. So basically, when you're cutting the top, all you do is you pull the hair straight up, 
Uh, start front and center, work your way towards the back, go all the way back, all the way back, and then you wanna do it at an angle, hold the brush at an angle, hold the hair all the way up, all the way back, all the way back, and you want it to just look really uniform. And this is where you wanna start to be careful once you start getting towards the, the part where it goes from the side to the top. Uh, and you wanna make that look nice and blended and be an even line. You don't need to take a ton off, a little bit goes a long way, but that's basically all you do. All right, and cut, cut, cut. Starting to see a little bit of a haircut, huh? Yeah. All right, looking good. Next step is to blend the top to the sides. Because if you look closely, you can see that it's not super great. Yeah, you can see right there. It needs a little bit of work. This step you can do with uh, the clippers. I use scissors and I will literally hold them up because it gives you a nice quick line. And I'll just start here, kind of like with the clippers, but instead of fo focusing on the side, it's that area that you're blending. And I just sort of go up, go up, go up, and cut my way around. And then I will uh, go over it again and start sort of cutting and shaping this way a little bit, get it blended so it's not such a hard line. And kind of do the same this way. There you go. So let's get that done, see how it looks. Cutting your hair is definitely not an exact science because there's like a ton of individual hairs that are all gonna lay differently every single time. So uh, do your best, don't go nuts though. super close. We have the sides done, we have the top done, we've done our best to sort of blend the two together with the scissors, um, but one of the things that makes a haircut look super clean is the edges. Right down here, and right up here. You take the clippers, you go straight down, and then you pull back, and you straight down, and you pull back away, and you just make these very careful chops. Here we go, moment of truth. Yeah, I mean, I think I have a haircut. <laughs> Look at this, it looks pretty good. You know what? The beard's gonna go too. Yep, beard's coming off. person with my new haircut. Observe. Huh? 
<laughs> Please share this video with anybody in your life that you think also desperately needs to cut their own hair. And please follow Boxcar Visual on social media because we're coming out with a minimum of one new video every week.